So growing up, I never hunted. I did some fishing, but I never hunted because I didn't have anybody to take me. I didn't even know I was interested. And now I can't even imagine what it would be like without it. So when Eric asked me to go for the first time, I thought, what do I know about hunting? What can I do? I was so nervous and I still get nervous every time I hold a gun and I think I'm so confident and I see that animal come across, whether it's a turkey, a deer, a pheasant, and my hands start trembling and my heart starts pounding and it feels like, what am I doing this to myself for? Why do I want to get so nervous and so excited? And then I realized the beauty that the, the outdoors has and provides to you and um, the nature and just that feeling of the openness is incredible. And Eric always told me like, it's this fever, it's this love, and until you're there, you can't understand it. And I remember the first time I shot my first animal, my first turkey, I was like, I get it. I get what you are talking about. What's been so neat for me is having two daughters and being able to teach them that we can do it too, first of all. Being a female doesn't mean I can't do the things that generally speaking males do in my life. Probably the most proud moments was when my little daughter, who was four at the time, looked at me and said, girls can do things just like boys can. So I set out this weekend to hunt a big buck. So I used the Savage Model 110 AccuFit to hunt. So when the gun arrived, we opened it up. We adjusted the comb height and the length of pull. The gun worked great, it fit perfectly. I really felt like it was a gun that was fit for me, for women, for children, for anyone. Last year, I had a beautiful, successful hunt with a five by eight. And so, of course, this year I say, I need at least that, if not a bigger buck. So I said, I'm gonna shoot a four by four or bigger. We went out early Saturday and we saw a couple does and the day continued to progress and we moved locations and by the end of the night, about five o'clock, we saw probably 25 does. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. I love the meat and I'd be thrilled to have a doe, but not happening. So I waited, I, had, I didn't take a shot, but the beauty of watching the does and there was a, a doe with two little fawns that kept going in front of us, it was like a show, a parade that was put on just for us. So we wake up the next day, I'm excited to get this buck, four by four. I haven't seen a buck yet, but I'm still hopeful. I'm excited. We wake up, we hear very little, we see very little. Um, I promised myself I wouldn't get disappointed. I'm thinking about this buck from last year, but I won't get disappointed. So see a couple does, but the wind's changed. So the wind has changed and the location we're in is a little bit different with how the wind is playing out. So I see a small little one antlered buck and that's the only buck I see. It's afternoon and I don't have a lot of time yet, so I'm gonna go for a doe. And the only doe I have in my scope is this cute little doe with two fawns behind her. And being a mom, I can't help but think, those two little fawns need their mother and it is not happening. So deer hunting for us is a family affair. And my father-in-law was down hunting with us. We had been sitting in a blind most of the weekend and the wind changed and we thought we needed to try something different. So we went out and we pushed the deer and we, three of us were sat up in different areas. I'm more comfortable sitting, being very prepared, having the deer come out and stop. And my husband was on one end, my father-in-law was on the other end. And our buddy who owns the land was helping do the deer push. And I was waiting, I was set up, I was ready, I was shaking, because I thought, okay, these trees, they're in these trees. And all of a sudden, we hear a shot. It had to be Eric's. And I immediately got excited for him because I could see him. You could tell that he had, had shot a deer. 
So we walk over to see him and he was successful. And although we had set out that I was the one shooting, at least first, I was so excited because it's a family thing. We all helped each other. So what a fun thing to be able to hunt together. We were all proud and excited because it isn't just about me, it isn't just about Eric or Eric's dad, it's about us. And I believe we were successful because of that. I'm Stephanie Dinger, and this is my AccuFit.